There is a very interesting dynamic in Bitcoin. Whenever the price goes up, the long-term holders tend to sell. The more the price is rising, the more the long-term holders that accumulated during the bear market are selling off, are balancing their portfolio. Now, Bitcoin went up more than 100% year to date. How much did the long-term holders sell so far? We have got a lot of interesting charts that can only be seen on chain. They can only be seen when we look at individual wallets. Now, this is very different to traditional finance. In traditional finance, you cannot track a single stock where it's moving, who's holding the stock, who's selling it. In blockchains, in Bitcoin, you can. You can see is the specific Bitcoin that you're currently looking at held by somebody that was holding already for a long time? Or is that specific Bitcoin moving across different holders very quickly? And because of this additional transparency of the blockchain, it seems like we can time the market better using that data. Have a look at the H bands, the last time active H bands. In red, we see the supply that has been active one year ago, in orange, two years ago, in green, three years ago, and in blue, five years ago. Almost 30% of Bitcoin hasn't moved in the last five years. There's another metric looking at pretty much the same thing, the illiquid supply of Bitcoin. That's this orange line here. Look how this went down to a degree when we moved all the way from 3K outside of this chart to then 60K, people were offloading their Bitcoin as the bull run stopped. But since then, we see a continued accumulation. Bitcoin gets more and more illiquid which is good. You want to have as much Bitcoin held up by diamond hands as possible, as many people joining the cult as possible, because this is in the end what lets the price rise. Whoever joins buys up the tokens. The less liquid supply there is, the more additional purchases can push up the price as well. There's a leverage effect in the price versus the illiquidity of an asset. The more illiquid something is, the more the price can move up or down. This is the first chart where we can see the actual distribution at the end of the last bull run. So in red on the left, we see how the long-term holders tended to sell into the new people that just joined the bandwagon. Whenever Bitcoin hits new all-time highs and the media is talking about it, then a lot of new entrants come in and the long-term holders sell. That's what's meant here by the holder net position change in red. Now we can already see since Q2 of 2021, this has changed in aggregate. In aggregate, more and more holders entered the space. Even though the price didn't yet appreciate, this is good. The longer this is in the green, the better it is. Again, Bitcoin supply gets more illiquid. Now this is one of my favorite charts in all of this. This shows a bit of a longer time horizon. And again, it shows how the fraction of long-term holders versus short-term holders is developing. Have a look at this blue line, this dark blue line. See how the number of long-term holders is really going down massively as we hit new all-time highs as we are passing the 20K and see how the number of short-term holders is shooting up. So Bitcoin moves from long-term investors, from long-term DCAs to new people that just entered because of the media hype. This happened all the way to where we have seen the peak in Bitcoin. We have seen a secondary peak over here. This was mainly due to whales buying, due to corporations buying. The masses of retail, they already cashed out at the first peak. What we are then seeing since that moment in time is again that the long-term holders continue to accumulating, being at an all-time high now and the short-term holders being at an all-time low. This is exactly the kind of scenario you want. This is when then subsequently the price can rally, right? This is very similar to Q3 of 2020. Bitcoin tends to really become a long-term safe haven asset now. It was not that three, four, five years ago. Five years ago, people still said that Bitcoin is going to go to zero. People believed that it was all a fad, that Bitcoin will die, that it will go back to its triple or double digit prices. Nobody's talking about this anymore. There's simply too much adoption. Now, there's another way to look at this data, and that's by looking at the ratio, the long-term holder supply divided by the short-term holder supply. And that's this chart. And this is now the longest of the charts, starting when Bitcoin was just a few cents in 2010 all the way to today. And see how this over the very long term increases. But there are the waves whenever we hit new all-time highs, 
where the long-term holders balance their portfolios again, which makes a lot of sense because Bitcoin is that volatile, right? When Bitcoin hits, say, a 10x from its prior low and people bought at the low and you've got a portfolio of all kinds of assets, say you've got a bit of property, you've got stock, you've got maybe gold, you've got Bitcoin. Now Bitcoin does a 10x. Now you're suddenly overweight in that Bitcoin position. And maybe you don't want to have that much allocation to Bitcoin in the grand scheme of your portfolio. So you simply just want to rebalance. That's probably the main reason why we see the long-term holders selling when prices move higher and higher. Now, the fact that more and more Bitcoin is held by the long-term holders over the cycles simply tells us the increased adoption for Bitcoin as an investment vehicle. But seeing that the ratio is also at an all-time high now might tell us that once Bitcoin makes another run, once it passes the 100K, then very likely we will see again the long-term holders selling. And then all of the Bitcoin will again be in the short-term holders' hands. Now that's the constant cycle, right? As the long-term holders are selling to the short-term holders that are just buying in on the hype, that simply just want to see the price further increase, as they see that the increase in price stagnates, those short-term holders suddenly get underwater and they panic sell. And that's how we see these massive cycles in the price. The long-term holders, they don't care. They just buy and dollar cost average in until they've got too much of an allocation. But when those same Bitcoin then move to the short-term holders, they simply just want to ride the current wave. They are not yet informed enough about Bitcoin to just dollar cost average and hold over many years. They just want to ride the short-term wave and when that stops, they are selling and thus then creating this new dip, this new bear market that can be very brutal for Bitcoin. Sometimes we see 80 or 70% drops. Just looking at the last few months, this current rally, this 100% rally year to date is definitely special because first time for many, many months, we now see all of the different wallet cohorts buying. Now, a wallet cohort is simply just looking at how much Bitcoin does every wallet hold? Is it less than one Bitcoin? Is it less than 10 Bitcoin? Is it maybe a hundred or a thousand Bitcoin? Depending on how much Bitcoin is held, you put in those different wallets in different cohorts. And you want to know, are the whales currently buying or selling? Is small retail currently buying or selling? And what we currently see is pretty unique in the last months. And of course, we all know why. It's because of the Bitcoin ETF. F approval. Here are the deadlines. Now, I don't have a crystal ball either. I can't tell you where the Bitcoin price is going to go next week. I don't care. I'm in the camp of the long-term holders. I simply just wait for new all-time highs to be hit. Even if the Bitcoin spot ETF will not directly put Bitcoin at new all-time highs, I'm relatively confident that it's just a matter of time. The main thing is simply to look out for who's currently holding the Bitcoin. If it's more and more long-term holders and we're simply just in the majority of those people, we should be fine. Once Bitcoin moves to short-term holders again, once the long-term holders are selling, I'm out as well because the long-term holders are the ones that really make the gains in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a tool to move capital from the impatient to the patient. Let me know what you currently do with your Bitcoin in the comments. If you're still buying or if you're considering to sell, feel free to also give this a like. There's also a Telegram channel. Feel free to join us. Link is down below.